The name of my island is Samsø. One of the lessons of Samsø Island, located in Denmark's North Sea, is that if you're going to try to convince an entire population to give up fossil fuel, you better first get the cooperation of the village blacksmith. I was a somewhat known person on the island being engaged in politics and such things. <laughs> it was 1998. Samso, population 4,000, had just won a national contest with its bold plan to completely switch to renewable energy. Now, all the mayor had to do was do it. I remember a story about the, he, him being interviewed and, and the journalist will ask him, how are you going to achieve these these pretty, uh, pretty extensive goals. And, and the silence was a little too long maybe before he answered. Many, like this electrician, worried about cost. I wasn't very convinced. I was pretty skeptic about how it would be realizable in 10 years. Others, like this farmer, had already tried renewable energy. It isn't working. But civic leaders hit the road and, with the blacksmith's help, convinced 450 residents to invest in wind power. The rainwater. Birgit Bjornvig was one of those leaders. And the farmers understood that they could make money with the conditions that there were for, for producing wind power. And uh, that's not a bad thing uh, for a farmer either. So they formed a cooperative and put up two windmills. The wind was strong and the government's rates on power were good. Private investors put up four more mills. The municipality put up another five. These first 11 mills not only produced more electricity than the entire island consumed, they paid themselves off in just a few years. And with those new profits, the islanders agreed to reinvest in more renewable energy. Well, it's a district heating plant. It's, um, it's based on straw. This straw comes from the farmers on the island. The straw is uh, chopped up here and sent into the other room. The farmers used to burn their fields at the end of the season. Now, their straw helped heat the town. The pipes you see here is uh, sucking in the, the straw that's being chopped up in the other room. Down here, the straw comes and being pushed into the oven. The straw is burned, it heats up the water, and the water is sent to the houses. The island then built this solar heating plant and a third heating plant which burns wood chips. Suddenly, 75% of Samso no longer needed oil for heat. <laughs> There's no glue in him. Remember the skeptical electrician? He began heating his home with wood pellets, but then found this. This is uh, my turbine, and I put it up in uh, 2007. He bought it used for $30,000. It now heats his home and... This is uh, my wife's electrical car. She uh, uses it to, to go to work. His own private windmill sells so much energy back to the grid, he'll pay it off in just five years. We had lots of rain, so it's good. And remember the farmer? Well, he was convinced to heat his water with solar panels. 15 square meters of uh, uh, solar panels for heating the house. The water also helps heat his home. And combined with solar photovoltaics, his electricity power meter now runs backwards. Today it's turning backwards because the, the solar panels are producing more than we are consuming in the house. He also presses his own oil from rapeseed, the yellow flowering plant widely used in Denmark as a biofuel. You ever taste it? Sure. How is it? Mm -hmm. Good. Not very hygienic, but it's, uh, it's tasting good. <laughs> there we go. He runs his Volkswagen on rapeseed oil. Looks like a regular old engine. Yeah, sure. It is. He even runs his tractor on it. Do you have to be a rich man to do all this? No. The people of Samso then launched their most ambitious project ever, 10 offshore windmills. Combined with everything else they were doing, these offshore mills produced so much power that Samso was now completely carbon neutral, meaning they produce more renewable carbon-free power than they consume. We would much rather like to buy our energy from uh, our neighbor, the farmer or uh, another uh, investor on the island than we would pay to the Middle East or an oil company.
anything. We just like the money to stay on the island. They've now built their own energy institute, where experts from around the world come to study how the people of SAMHSA achieved in less than 10 years what most of the world thinks can't be done. For World Focus, John Larson, SAMHSA Island, Denmark.